Hello, friends. Hello, 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 hello. Oh my gosh, my screen, it like, it freaked me out because it just immediately switched. It normally has the loading screen, but something's up with my loading screen, I guess. Uh, and so I just popped on and I scared myself. Uh, but uh, how is everybody Saturday? Kiko, what's up, Kiko? How are you? How are you feeling? How's your Saturday? Um, how's everybody's Saturday? My day has been uh, pretty lazy. Like I've been super duper lazy today. It was like a super rainy day. It was like rainy and dreary. So I just like laid in bed and played a bunch of PS5 games. I dug into the Persona game, the Persona 5, since it's one of those games that's like free with the PS Plus. Um, I had gotten it like around Black Friday or so, but I hadn't actually played it. And so I was like, ah, let me go ahead and play a little bit of this. <gasps> Momo, hey, how are you? Welcome, I'm glad you could join. Do you have hot cocoa this time? I hope you have some hot cocoa. <laughs> And Kiko, it's going good. I've just been like a lazy bum all day. I've been playing Persona and I played some Pokemon and I've just been like, just kind of hanging, hanging low because it's been rainy and like gross here. Like it's been rainy all day. Um, and I actually went out to try and go get dinner, like to go pick up some dinner and it just like stormed. And I got nervous because I couldn't see and I don't like driving when vis like, I mean, who likes driving when visibility sucks? But like it was raining so hard. The rain was coming down so fast on my car. I couldn't see and I had to pull over. It was scary. I'm like, go figure. The one time I try to get out <laughs> for the day, it's pouring. I was just thinking I should make some cocoa. You definitely should. You should make that cocoa. I always keep saying I'm gonna have a cup of tea, but like I never actually make the tea. Um, so yeah, one of these days I'm gonna make tea, but you should make cocoa and make enough for me in spirit. Um, make some cocoa. But uh, yeah, what's uh, oh, we gotta, what's up with this? This like auto mod thing, like I don't even understand. Uh, I got a sleeping pup on my lap, so I'll probably get up after he wakes up. I know how that is. I know how that is. Like, I always hate to move my pets when they're like super duper comfortable. And uh, I'm like, oh man, I feel bad. Like, I don't want to make you move because you look so cozy. And uh, yeah, I, I, I feel that. But um, yeah, not much going on. It's just been like a lazy day. I gotta make some candles tomorrow. I gotta get all the last minute Christmas orders ready to go so that they can head out on Monday. Um, so I'm just just chilling, you know? Today though, I'm excited. I'm excited for tonight because we, we are gonna play some Witchwood. And um, I'm very excited about this one. One, just because the game looks really, really cute. And um, I've been eyeballing it for a while now. And two, I was actually uh, fortunate enough to get a game key uh, from the folks over at um, the game studio, uh, the publishers, and I think Whitethorn, Whitethorn Games. Couldn't remember the name, it's, it skipped my, my memory for a second. But the folks at Whitethorn Games granted me a code and I'm so excited because I get to play it with you all. Um, I did kind of uh, cheat just a teeny bit and I did like a quick little preview of it yesterday. And I was actually, well, I mean, it wasn't a preview. I was like actually gonna play the game. <laughs> but then I remembered when I posted about it on Instagram on launch day a couple days ago, a lot of people seemed really excited about it and curious and a lot of people actually hadn't heard of it, which, I found kind of surprising because like I just thought people would be all over it. So I was like, you know, rather than me just, you know, keep this in my corner and just do my Instagram post, let's go ahead and uh, let's just stream it so everybody can check it out and see what it looks like. So we'll just play like the first, I don't know, hour and a half, two hours maybe. And, you know, that way if you're on the fence about it and you aren't sure if you want to get it, you can take a look at it here and then you can decide. It's um, 
So like I said, it's from White Thorn Games, and basically it's just like a, it's like a little cozy crafting adventure game, and it's like got this really cute story, like like a storybook sort of art vibe going on, and it's really adorable. Um, it comes on Nintendo Switch, which is what I'm going to be playing on, uh, but it's also on PS4, PS5, Xbox, um, Steam, and yeah, I think that's it. I think those are all of like the major, the major channels. So I'm excited to to dive into this. So let's let's not hold it up any longer. Let's go ahead and go right into it. It's gonna be weird because I think my my screen is gonna do that immediate. Yeah, look at that. I hate that immediate flip. Ew, I gotta get my I gotta get my my other screen back up because it kills. It kills the mystery. Um, all right, let's turn on our audio so you all can hear. Glad you decided to stream it. I'm excited to catch a preview. Yeah, I'm I I'm glad. I'm glad. I was hoping it would like draw some people out just to at least check it out. Cause I know sometimes when I'm on the fence about a game or like like I'm I'm a serial wish lister, <laughs> like on Steam or on Switch or PlayStation, and I'll just add a bunch of stuff to my wish list, but like you know, sometimes the trailer is not enough. And so, you know, you just want to see someone else playing it. So I'm like, yeah, oh, we'll go ahead and we'll go ahead and play that. But I have not played any Animal Crossing like I said I would. I was like, oh, I'm going to fix my island. It's going to be so great. I've done none of that. Uh, but I've played Persona, so I think it's all good. But um, yeah, I hope you enjoy the preview. I like I said, I have one save file going um, but literally I think I was, so I tried to play it last night. I was like, Oh, I'm going to play this before bed. I had some chamomile tea like I normally do. And I was all cozy and I was like, we're gonna, we're gonna play this before bed. And yeah, like bed ended up just getting to me before, uh, I got very far here. So <laughs> this is all still new to me. Wish list for days. Yes. I am a serial wish lister. 100%. All right. If this, uh, if there's, I don't know if my overlay is going to get in the way of the game. If it does, I'll switch to my other screen. So we are not going to continue. We're going to do a new game. And we're going to do new data. And we're going to start over. So one thing I have noticed about it uh, is it is a little, sl like, it feels a little slow sometimes on Switch. But other than that, like, it's pretty good. Okay, here we go. So the swamp is talking to us right now. Once upon a time, there lived an odd little witch in an odd little house. She spent most of her days tending to her odd little garden and resting in her odd little chair. On this day, however, her sleep is interrupted by an odd little noise. Okay, we got a lot of odd stuff going on. All right, we got a goat that's like, bah. <laughs> you like my goat noise? Oh, gosh. Okay, how adorable. All right, let me see if... Okay, all right, goat. I hear you. So we're using A to interact. Also, uh, one thing I will say, I love this music. But make it goaty, yes. <laughs> I love it. That'll be like my alter ego name, but make it goaty. <laughs> okay, so we're hitting A to interact. Witch, you devil. How dare you wake up a young lady from her beauty sleep? Blah. <laughs> Shoo, shoo, get out of my house, you mindless beast. You're making a mess. With a swift kick in the rump, oh my god, how cute, it says rump. Uh, you boot the goat through the front door. All right, I booted the goat out. When did this place get so cluttered? I've sworn I've swept the hearth just yesterday. That's literally how I feel about my office, like, every week. I'm like, hmm, how did I get all this stuff here? First things first, my old grimoire must be around here somewhere. All right, let's see. New chapter, first things first. Okay, so we're looking for the grimoire. 
Uh, grimoire, grimoire. Yeah, this is super cluttered. Like, what is going on here? Aha, here it is. Hmm. It's lighter than I recall. Your grimoire contains all of your craftable recipes. You can open it at any time by pressing the X button. Okay. So let's let's test that theory, you say. Okay, grimoire, here we go. It is so cute so far. I'm I absolutely love the music. Like the music is so chill. That's probably part of the reason why I fell asleep last night while I was trying to play it. I got a little too relaxed. Um, okay. All right, so that's our grimoire. All my recipes are missing. That damnable creature has chewed up all the pages of my book. Oh no. Where's my belt? I'll need it to carry my things if I'm off to go confront the beast. I must have left it in that trunk over there. Okay. Uh, the trunk. Find your braided belt in your chest. Okay. I fell asleep watching a stream and slept walk to my bed. Oh my gosh. That's a... Uh, that's something. <laughs> okay. Braided belt. And then we've got imp eye, okay, and twine, but we want this belt. Let me see here. Let me see something. Because our, we can't really see the screen here all the way, so let me try to fix it. We might have to move over to my other screen if it gives us too many problems, but let's see. Okay, so we got out of there. Oof, my poor back. How long was I napping for? A good dose of medicine ought to soothe these aching bones before I head outside. At least I still have the recipe for my mending poultice. Okay, so collect the ingredients to craft a mending poultice. So, let's see here. Um, okay, so that's the grimoire. What do we need for the poultice? <clears throat> okay. These things should be scattered around the place to put together some medicine for an old woman. Okay. So, what are the things that you need? Um, I feel like it should be... Ah, right here. Duh. Okay. So it's a speckled herbal paste that heals. Da, da, da. Okay. So we need a forest herb. Or two forest herbs, which you can find in the forest, obviously. And then a hag shroom, which you can find in the swamp. But apparently we have all of these things. So. Okay, there's our hag shrooms. And we've got one of our forest herbs and here's another forest herb okay so we should have everything that we need so let's open our grimoire okay we got two out of two okay perfect so craft oh you gotta hold it okay so we crafted our little potion majig okay we crafted a mending poultice and so we can heal. Oh my gosh, how cute is that? Okay. All right, we did it. So what are we doing now? We're going outside, that's our next thing. To the outside. Okay. All the little squeaky, little squeaky noises are so like, they're so realistic. You step outside into a humid marsh and immediately stub your toe on a twisted root. Ouch! Close your eyes for a wink and the next thing you know, the whole yard's gone to the weeds. <laughs> Isn't it so adorable? It's so cute. <gasps> oh my gosh, is the Coco emote working? I didn't see that, that it was up. Yes, that's perfect. I love it. 
Somewhere in the distance, you can hear braying through the dense bramble. Where'd that cross-eyed Billy get to? He could at least put those gnashers to good use on this lawn. <laughs> yes, there are new emojis. Those are, those are affiliate level emojis right there. <laughs> oh, I'm so happy that Coco is up. Okay, so we press the one button here to open our map and get a better look at our surroundings. Okay, so we so we zoom in with this, okay, and we zoom out with this. And it looks like our goatee, our goatee is over here. Totally gonna make Coco during this stream now. I mean, you kind of have to. Like, how can you not? You have to make Coco now. <laughs> Holiday uh, chibi me emote says go make some cocoa all right let's take a look around out here so we've got this looks so cute i love that you do that momo i live yes i'm living through momo's cocoa as well um okay let's see what do we have we got some vines Let's gather those, because you never know when you need some vines. Although I'm totally making Irish coffee. Okay, you all are, you know what you all are making me jealous, uh, because I have no cocoa nor Irish coffee, but I do have water. Water's good. <laughs> okay, Goaty is here. Hello. Goat. Mwah. <laughs> Is that all you've got to say for yourself? Bah. The goat coughs up a disgusting hairball. Oh, I guess I didn't cough up the hairball. <laughs> I guess that's like what it sounds like if you cough up a hairball. <laughs> uh, water is so good. Ah, yes. Hello. Hello. Can you hear me now? The profile art is very adorable. I love it. Apologies, it's been so long since I've used a mortal vessel. Yuck, where is... There's dirt in its mouth. Puh, puh. You can talk? Of course I can talk. Has your mind become so filled with cobwebs that you've forgotten your old friend? You wound me, madam. It's good to see you up and about. I was beginning to wonder if you'd ever awaken. Though I suppose time flows strangely in this place. Yes, Irish coffee sounds good. I can't drink coffee at this hour. <laughs> Wasn't lucky enough to get cocoa. Oh, well, why couldn't you get cocoa? You should get cocoa. You're a mod. You should, you should have all the cocoa. I wonder why you don't. Um, I also cannot drink coffee at this hour. I... I think the latest I've ever had a coffee was 7 p.m. And that was the worst decision of my life. <laughs> I, I literally did not go to sleep until like 2 o'clock in the morning. But I will have a tea after this. Anyway, I've come to collect. Do you have the amount we agreed upon? Ooh. Amount? Amount of what? Oh dear. If you really don't remember... We should go over the contract details again. Down there. The goat nods its head towards the ancient stone gateway looming nearby. Okay. And just how am I supposed to get through that solid rock? You're the one who sealed it last. Take a closer look and I'm sure it will come back to you. Open with your, wait, open your witch's eye with Y to inspect objects and creatures and discover their weaknesses. Okay, that's cool. Let's use some witch eye. So we got our witch eye here. The goat. I'll help you out, trust me. Stone pillar. An unusually large standing stone warped with enchanted engravings. Looks like its weakness is unveiling powder. Is that what I'm seeing? Yeah, unveiling powder. Okay. So, 
Okay, recipe learned, unveiling powder. Don't underestimate your senses, my dear. You may be old, but you can see things others cannot. Hidden weaknesses lying just behind, lying, bleh, lying below the surface. I wanted to say just below the surface. <laughs> ah, I can see it now. There are shallow runes etched into the surface of the stone, but they are too faint for me to read. A powder of unveiling ought to do the trick. If you hadn't made a snack of my book, I wouldn't have to retranscribe my recipes. Uh-oh. I shall not be held liable for any losses or inconveniences incurred as a result of my abysmal possession. <laughs> of course not. By inspecting objects and creatures, you can learn new recipes to craft in your grimoire. Okay, that's cool. So Witch's Eye is super useful for learning new recipes. All right, great, great. And I love that you reminded me just how I can look at my grimoire because uh, someone like me will forget. Okay, so we need to craft some unveiling powder. So we need three... We need... Uh, three of these much oh no one mushroom and then we need two whoops go back so we need the hag shroom we got that seeker vine uh looks like we got that and we need the imp eye nut okay that's back at the house all right so let's go back some of that stuff was hiding in the trunk all right, let's go back here inside the hut. Let's grab all of the things. Okay. So let's go here. Yeah, this is it. So we want this. We want this. And let's grab that too, because why not? Okay, so is there anything else in here that we can take with us for our adventure? No, it looks like that's it. Okay. So to the outside we go. All right, so what we need to do now is craft. All right, looks like we've got everything. Okay, so we've made some unveiling powder. So use an unveiling powder near the shrine door. That's here, right? And reveal. Oh. Oh my. You smear a handful of the glowing powder onto the runes of the doorway. A cool blue light emanates from the glyphs and envelopes the entrance in its aura. <laughs> you squint, attempting to discern the meaning of the letters. They appear to be in some obscure runic alphabet. What gibberish is this? It looks like it was carved by a frightened hen. Hmm. It must be written in umbral tongue. Allow me to translate. The goat steps up to the doorway and pauses. Hmm. Well, what does it say? The goat swings its shaggy head towards you. Dark matted wool obscures the creature's beady eyes. <laughs> oh gosh, what a struggle. <laughs> I... I cannot see. Unbelievable. What help are you then? I didn't come here to help. I came here to collect. You let her know, goat. You let her know. Now do something about this mop hair, would you? <laughs> fine, fine. I think I have some rusty old shears down in the garden. Okay, so we're going to the garden. Oh, we got some more. Some more of these. Always want to replenish because it seems like they're pretty useful. Okay, down in the garden. I'm, um, uh, I'm seeing, I'm thinking this is the garden. So we got some more vines. Oh, now we can interact with this thing. Aha, shears. Sim simple steel snips to cut through a surprising variety of things. <laughs> okay, and we got some more twine. Perfect. 
actually, what can I? Some shears will cut these cleanly. Let's see, what, what will it cut? Ooh, what did we just get? Twine. So if we cut whatever the heck this is, we get twine. I love it. How cute. Is that it? I think that's it. Okay. So let's go back and give our goat a haircut. So that the goat can help us. Come in close with those shears and give those bangs a cut. Whoops. Hey, be still. Be still. I'm trying to help you. With much protesting and a nicked ear, you shear away clumps of dirty hair from the goat's eyes. Ah, much better. Oh my. Were you always this grotesque or is my memory failing me as well? That is rude. That is so rude. I literally just helped you see and you call me grotesque. I'm so offended. Um, but the goat looks totally different now. <laughs> Watch your tongue or I'll give it a snip too. Now, can you read the runes or not? Hmm. Yes. Ahem. A space beneath. She sleeps alone. Tokens given up to the unknown. Huh. <laughs> Fires of four shall unroot the stone. Razier's burn and await the crone. Crone? Who's calling it a crone? And what are those tokens I'm to burn? Perhaps you ought to take a closer look. Okay, we're going to use the witch's eyes. All right, let's see. So we want to use witchy eyes. Here? Uh, the remnants of the last burn are barely... Oh, da, da, da. Okay, blue feather. And its weakness is dog hair. Okay. Weakness of frog slime. And a weakness of a shiny stone. Okay, so what does this all mean? Dog hair, bird feather, frog slime, and shiny stone. I don't suppose you swallowed up any of those things while I was asleep. I don't think so. But feel free to sift through the creature's leavings if you want to be completely sure however there's a whole world outside this little swamp you know see that gateway over there the one with the lovely green flame the goat motions to the far side of your yard i guess a brisk walk in the woods would do these creaky old joints some good too much time indoors is bad for the humors okay so gather the ingredients to light the thing, okay? And then clear away to the forest. What exactly does that mean? So I think the gateway, I think gateway, I mean, but can we all just take a moment and just admire how soothing this music is? Like, so very good. Oh, snipping and tearing your shears make a short, make short work of the bramble. Okay, so we can go into the darkness now. I don't know if we want to do that, but sure. Why not? Oh, you cut your way through the remaining vines and suddenly step onto a cold stone dais. Time seems to flow backwards. Or maybe it speeds forwards. An oppressive star-filled void stretches as far as you can see. Though there is no wind or sound in this void, a warm breeze and the chirping of birds seizes your attention. A doorway. Okay. So that says back home. What's this? A heart hearth seed? What's this? To the forest. Ooh. Okay, are there other doorways? Okay, these are also doorways, but they're not... They're not open right now. Okay, this is cool. So it's like portals. All right, so let's go. Let's go to the forest. I think this is where I dropped off la last night. I don't think I got this far. 
I'm excited to see what happens next. So what does everybody think so far? I know we haven't done a ton, but it seems pretty cute. Ooh, look at this forest. Okay, so gather the ingredients to light the thingy. Ooh, what is that? Is that like a squirrel? So we have to find a we have to find a blue feather, dog hair, frog slime, and a shiny stone. Love the kind of nightmare before Christmas vibes of the portals. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. I think I want to... Okay. I'm loving it. Okay, what's here? A hatchet might break this apart. Okay, I don't have a hatchet. So I will not be breaking that apart. Oh, hello, hello, what are you? A simple trap is what I need. Okay. Oh my gosh, this art is just like... Oh my goodness. Ooh. Okay, we found a twig. Not exactly what I needed, but you know. We're making our way. Okay. Oh my gosh, there is like... This is pretty big. Okay, so let's pick a direction to start with. Oh, wait, is this a person? Bird watcher. The woman spins around on her heels so quickly, she nearly hits you with her spyglass. Ah, you startled me. Can't you see I'm busy with my scientific research? Oh, I'm sorry. Research? What is it you're looking for with that contraption? Why, the famed indigo tuft forest lark. They're said to be native to this forest and this forest only. Have you seen one, perchance? You glance upwards at the small blue bird perched atop the oblivious woman's hat. Oh my gosh. I, I wonder if that's the bird. I haven't. Sorry. A shame. Well, it's never too late to open one's eyes to the wonders of, natu of the natural world. You never know what you'll discover. She points at a nearby woodland critter stuffing its cheeks with seeds. Take that squirrel, for example. Spend a few moments watching its behavior and you'll learn everything you need to know about it. Observation, okay, that's witchy eyes, is key. Now, if you don't mind, I wouldn't want to miss making an exciting new discovery. The bluebird glances <laughs> vacantly at you before pooping on the brim of the woman's hat. Oh, gross. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so let's use some witchy eyes. Oh, okay, there's a forest herb. All right, let's let's witchy eye. So a snap trap is the weakness for the squirrel. Got it. All right, so here's some forest herb in the meantime. I love this like storyboard type feel. All right, we tried that. So cute. Okay. So I wonder how we're gonna find the things we need. We're finding a lot of twigs. I'm gonna take them all. Is there anything down here? Oh my gosh, wait, what is this? Let's do some witch eye. A ragamuffin, his enthusiasm for catching frogs is not tempered by limited ability to hold them. Okay, let's witchy eye this here. A fairy, its weakness is a catching net. Okay. Oi, lady, what's with the great stinking pot on your head? <laughs> I would ask the same about all those stinking frogs in your trousers. Ooh, burn. Ah, uh, you're just jealous. The boy fumbles between trying to wrangle all his frogs and swiping infectually at wayward fireflies with a shoddy looking bug net. Oh my gosh. Juggling a little more than you can handle, eh? What exactly are you hoping to accomplish flailing about like that? Are you daft? Me frogs are hungry, so I gotta catch some of, those, some of these fireflies to feed them. He takes another wild swing, missing his target entirely. 
why don't you let me take a few of those frogs off your hands for a moment? That would let you swing the net properly. Oh, shoot. Don't we need to find a frog? Oh, I see how it is. You're after me precious prizes. Well, how about I give you the net and you catch me some fireflies? Uh, I don't know how I feel about that. Then maybe I'll think about trading you one of my froggies. Okay, sure. We'll take the net. Because we do need... Uh, we do need um, frog slime. Okay, so how am I supposed to... Okay. Kelsia! Kelsia is in the bill. Dang, how are you? How is it going? How's your Saturday? Tell me all about it. I'm glad you could make it. Um, all right, we're gonna try to catch some fireflies in the meantime. Oop, what'd I do? Did I catch the fairy? I got fairy dust! I caught the fairy! Okay, let's catch a firefly. All right, we got one firefly. How many do we need? Was there, was there a number to this? Let's take a look. Let's go look at our journal. Uh, completed. Okay, so it's, I love that it tells me everything that has been completed. <clears throat> um, okay. So let's try. Whoop. All right, we got another one. And can we get another? Aha. And then how many more are there? Oh, let's get this mushroom. I love that. So one thing I have to say is that I really like that it's not super complicated to catch the fireflies because you know like some in-game mechanics for stuff like this are just like unreal and it's just very hard to do anything so i appreciate that this is very chill and like not stressful to do let me get some of that fairy dust all right beautiful because like that's one of the things i'll like love a game and then it will be hard to do everything and i will just get stressed and i'm like i don't want to play anymore I'm doing good. My Saturday is flying by way too fast. I understand that 100%. 100%. Um, it felt like today just flew by. Flew by. <gasps> oh my gosh! MZ, welcome! I am so happy you're here. I think this is your first time here. Um, I am liking it so far. Right now, I think we're on like... I don't know, maybe like the fourth sort of questy type of thing. Um, so it's good so far. It's really cute. I'm so glad that you can make it. Yay, you finally made it. <laughs> well, you came at a good time because we've got we've got emotes now and we're in a good place. So it's a great day for you to be here. And I'm just excited to show off this little game and try it myself. Okay, I think I caught him enough fireflies. Let's check in. Well, these hoppers aren't going to stick around with empty bellies. The faster you catch those fireflies, the faster... I thought I'd, I, I've been catching them, though, haven't I? I meant the frogs can eat. Oh, I've got to catch... Yeah, I've caught enough, haven't I? Yeah, I needed five. I'm dying to get my hands on this game. Oh, good, good. Well, definitely spend some time hanging out and check it out. See if you like it. Um, I was a going. I was going to buy it. Like I said, I had it on my wish list, and then I was fortunate enough to get a code from the publisher. So I was like, let's just show it off. Let's let everybody take a look at it because I know so many people seemed interested from Instagram. So. Um, alrighty. The boy shakes the jar, rattling the captured insects like pennies in a piggy bank. Oh, these are nice and juicy. <laughs> the lads are gonna feast tonight. Now, about our deal. You agreed to trade me one of your pets there. Ha ha ha, what deal? I don't remember making no- Oh, don't you do that. This is why you're- Don't do that. That's rude. <laughs> yes! 
publisher code. We got a publisher code uh, in the house. <laughs> I was so excited. A frog squirms out of the boy's overalls and plops down by his feet with a wet slap. Ooh. Ooh. Dang it. There goes Slippery Pete. Okay. He takes a clumsy swipe at the amphibian, but the creature squeezes out of his grasp and bounces into the underbush. Ah, shucks. I never liked him anyways. If you can catch him, he's all yours. That's so rude. I mean, that's rude. What deal? Yeah, like, <laughs> don't do that to me. I caught way more fireflies. Boom, got him. Okay. So we got frog slime. I know, hype, hype, hype for publisher code. So excited. Um, I'm, I'm actually thinking of, you know, depending on how well uh, all of this stuff works out, potentially just trying out new games like these on Saturdays. So we can just kind of like, I'll have my other things that I'm normally playing. Like right now, I think I'm playing Kenna and then there's Animal Crossing. But maybe Saturdays we check out something new. Because I love uh, trying out a new game. All right, so we got our frog slime. So that's one thing down. Where else do we want to go? Oh, all right, some more materials. Let's follow this path. Oh, there's some more forest herb. This is just gorgeous. I am just in awe. The world is very cute. Oh, you know what? That reminds me. I can actually take a look at the map. Whoops. Let's go back to the map. Okay, so it looks like there's another another objective type thing here. How cute. Just the colors are just so beautiful. Um, okay, so maybe with this woodsman is where we'll get our hatchet. And there's something here for us. Yeah, that's a ha another hatchet deal. I could dig out some coals with the right tool. Okay, let's talk with this gentleman, woodsman. Hey, you there. Give me a hand, would you? With what? You seem to have everything under control. Those stumps aren't going anywhere. My darn useless son was supposed to help me but he wandered off again. Probably to go bother frogs and eat bugs or some such nonsense. <laughs> okay. Anyway, I need help clearing away some of the, these dead logs. And it's late in the season and the wood has started to rot. Just be careful of the purple mushrooms that sometimes grow inside. They'll make you powerful sleepy if you breathe in the spores. Uh-oh. <clears throat> so the purple... The purple mushrooms are the ones we want to look out for. As much as I do love poisonous fungi, I'm not much of a lumberjack. <clears throat> Nonsense. Anyone can experience the joys of splitting a fine stump. Here, my boy won't be missing his hatchet. Yes. I want that. So now we can chop some wood. But first, Let's gather all these wonderful supplies. I love how there's just supplies laying around at the ready. I could dig some coals with the right tool. Interesting. Can you send me some of the purple mushrooms for the kids? <laughs> and get them uh, so that that way they can... Uh, that way they can they can get some sleep. <laughs> oh, sometimes I need some of those for like myself. All right, so let's move over to our hatchet. Ooh. Okay. Oh. 
Is this the mushroom he's talking about? Okay. All right, let's see here. So, we've got, oh, we've got some more stuff we can get and then let's use our hatchet. Boom. Okay. Oh, I thought there was something there. All right, let's go up this way. And... Whoop. All right, awesome. So... you for the sub I appreciate you <laughs> thank you so much <laughs> all right let's okay that's our our way in <laughs> All the emotes, all the all the Christmas me's, the holiday me's. <laughs> also, uh, shout out to my sister Ness uh, here in the chat for all of my wonderful emotes. My holiday edition, very first set of emotes. She made those for me and I adore them. So please use them all and enjoy them. We, I was wondering if the, the Coco one was going to get approved in time. <laughs> And it did, so I'm excited. All right, where else are we going to find? We still got materials we need to find. We need to find a shiny stone, but I probably need to... Um... Oh, you know what? Blue feather. That's probably from that bird. That's probably from the bird. Okay, let's do some witchy eyes for a second. Yeah, we need a snap trap. Okay, maybe this this person can help us with something. Evening, ma'am. Come to check on the pottery. I'm afraid I just fired the killings up, so they'll be a while still. Pottery? Bah, I was admiring that fine canine over there. Oh, this is going to be the dog hair. Okay, okay. I love this. I love how you just meet these people. And this is how you find the supplies you need. Like, I think that's really, really cute. Okay, you point to a scraggly looking mutt patrolling the yard. May I give her a petting? Oh, you can try, but I wouldn't if you value your fingers. She's a touch bitey today and doesn't like people going near the ovens. <laughs> have a way with animals surely I can find so another thing I appreciate about this game I know I keep stopping and pausing like I love this I love this but another thing I think is cool is um is uh the fact that it reminds you of what you need to press and like what that thing is to do what you need to do like why it reminds me like oh I gotta use the witchy eye um so Awesome. And also, shout out. Oh, I'm scared. Also, um, you can pet the dog. Well, I don't know. It says that the dog is a touch bitey. Let's use witchy eye. So it looks like we've got, what is that? Shears. Okay, and then something else. Where am I supposed to find that? Hmm. Oh, there it is. Whoop, 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 whoop. Okay, okay, I'm sorry. I don't want to get bit. Because that will take my health down. So let's check our grimoire because I think every time we use the witchy eye, here it is, a sporific morsel, a warm goblet of animal flesh. Ooh, the, ugh, that's gross. Soaked with sleeping magic. 
Useful against dogs. Okay, so what do we need? Okay, so this is a craftable item. Okay, so we need a sporific potion. And then we need a meaty morsel. Where do you find a meaty morsel? And also, uh, shout out to Ness. I just realized that Ness gifted that sub to MZ. Shout out to you. You are wonderful. Um, it's just like the season of gifted subs. I'm just loving it. <laughs> okay, so let's hit Y. Okay, so this is like a very, uh, this is very hardcore crafting. So crafting is like a major aspect of gameplay, which is nice. I like that. I like that. This game is like adorably gross. It is adorably gross. It really is. So we need a jug of water, which you can get from a forest well. Okay, so this is complex. This is complex here. So let's go back to the grimoire because I didn't mean to get out of there. So to make this potion, all right, we've got enough of the spores. Um, the one thing we're missing is the jug of water. So we need to we need to do some research before we can take care of this right now. Is what it sounds like. Oop, it's going to bite me. I don't want it to take down my health. What is this? Empty jar. Don't bite me, don't bite me, don't bite me. Okay, I see that you're angry. I feel you. But let me get these empty jars, please. A snap trap. I still need a snap trap. So that's how I'm going to get my blue feather. So there's still another thing that we need. So we're going to have to keep doing some searching. Let's take a look at our map. Okay, so we have... Oh, we've explored this much of the forest already? Okay, so this is where we got our frog stuff. And this is where we got our, um... Thing to chop wood. This is where we currently... Oops, let's zoom back in. This is where we just left. So it looks like we need to go back down this way. So let's do that. Let's go back down. I also love how... I love the way the map looks. Ooh, what's this? This is the well where we can get water. Well wisher. Oh man. Oh geez. I don't know about this. You tap the man's shoulder and he nearly tumbles head first into the well. Ah! What's the matter with you? I could have fallen in. And then perhaps you shouldn't be leaning over the edge. Like some wobbly stork. What's so interesting down this well anyways? Oh, sassy witch. Well, my grandpappy used to tell me that people drop all sorts of treasures down there, just waiting for someone to dig it up. Got myself a trowel and thought I'd give it a go. But the rope's out, and it looks awful dark and damp. I get goosebumps just thinking about all the ghoulies that might be lurking down there in the shadows. <laughs> the ghoulies. <laughs> How cute. Ever consider that those ghoulies might get goosebumps thinking about you lurking up there in the sunlight? Eh, uh, no, not really. Not sure if that makes me feel any better about them, actually. Uh, I can relate to that because m my best friend, like, I, I hate bugs, okay? Like, like I don't do spiders. Uh, I don't do uh, flies. I don't do any sort of beetle I don't do any sort of bug at all like I lose it and uh my best friend would always tell me like you know have you ever thought about how those bugs are probably just as afraid of you as you are of them and I'm like no I don't think about that at all I just like I'm just immense in like fear <laughs> oh, wow a well looks damp how odd I know right who would have thought um 
Maybe the business of treasure hunting isn't for me after all. Here, why don't you take my trowel? I don't think I'll be needing it. You can go down into the well and see those ghoulies yourself. Okay, I'll take it. This old well is deep and dark. You might be able to climb down into it, but the rope has long since rotted away. Ah, twine. That's right. All the characters are so cute. They are. And I love like the little, um, I love like the little portraits, like the little portrait art that shows up when they're talking. It's so nice. And I love the music too. The music is very, very soothing. All right. So you toss a length of strong homemade rope down into the darkness. It seems like it should support you without much fuss. Okay. So uh, we're going into the well, everyone. We're going to go see some ghoulies. Ghoulies. <laughs> Oh my gosh, she's really and truly terrified. Ooh. Okay, I definitely feel like there's ghoulies here. Ooh, we got a gold coin. The clay is packed. I'll need what? A trowel. Oh, yeah, yeah. We got that. We got that. Okay. We got some clay. All right, beautiful. So... All right, let's do some more digging. Beautiful. Okay. Got another gold coin. Can I... I wish I had, like, a bucket. There's water down here. And we need some water. Okay, more clay. But that's another good resource. Whoop! Come here! Come here! Come here! Can I have you? Can I have you? There we go. All right, got that. Frog slime. All right, so let's go back to our trowel. I almost forgot for a second that I needed to use, that I needed to move to select my tools. Okay, clay. Oh, what's this? Can we use witchy eyes? on anything in here come here can I have you <laughs> yes can I have you please can I have you sir frog <laughs> okay oh this looks a little spooky a little spooky all right, we got a gold coin and some more clay. Oh, what's this? We got the shiny stone. That's one of the things we needed. Okay, okay. So we need dog hair and we need blue feather. Can we get it? Let's see. <clears throat> I think the dog hair is probably going to be the most complicated thing. Because like you get there's so much you got to do. Big. Oh, oh, can I have you? Can I have you? Come here. 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 Let me have you. Thank you. Oop, look at that. You see those eyes right there? What is that? What is that? Oh my gosh. I'm afraid. Okay. Um. It's locked. Okay. That's not fun. What is lurking? Okay, I think this is the end of the road. So how can I unlock this? Oh, this is wonderful. So you can automatically uh, teleport home with this thing. That's really, really cool. I can appreciate that. Because could you imagine, like, being in a place like this and having to walk all the way back? I really love any game that ha that gives me any option to teleport because I will take that option every single time. All right, let's go back. 
Let's dig. Um, I think there's definitely a ghoulie. I could collect some water with a jar. Okay, we're gonna collect some water. All right, let's go up to the surface. I think we did everything we can do down here. I really enjoy these mechanics. Like, not only is this cute and very cozy, but it's simple to play. Like, there's not a whole lot that I have to do. And I really can appreciate that. All right, let's take a look at our map. And let's zoom in and see what's up. There is a giant forest. This is like massive. Can we go this way? Nope, we can't go that way. Um, okay. So let's go ahead and go up this way. Ooh, what's this? It's locked. So let's take a look at the map again. Okay. And we can't go this way. All right, so there must be something that we have to do first before we can continue. All right, well, we need only two more things. We need to gather that blue feather. So in order to do so, we're going to need a bucket of some sort. Let's take another look at the map. We have explored a lot of this map and well, I won't even say it's a lot of the map because I'm not sure if it's a lot of the map, but we've explored a lot of this forest in a little bit of time. So we still have hair of the dog. <laughs> Canines are not known to part with their hair willingly. Adorable. All right, so we, uh, let's see here. So this is the way back home. Maybe we need to go up some more, perhaps? Because I think we've done... One thing I will say, though, about this... Ah, okay, this is much faster. I was going to say, it's very slow to navigate with this left analog, but right analog's a little faster. Amber, welcome in. How are you tonight? How has your Saturday been? Happy to see you. Glad you could make it. We are crafting and doing cozy witchy things. Um, let's go back up this way. All right, so we got our bird watcher. Uh, let's actually go back here so that we can chop. Whoop. Okay. Did I get everything? I think we did. And so we cannot go. We cannot go uh, that way. So how the heck? Sorry, I'm late. Just got home. Glad I could stop by. Yeah, I'm glad you could, too. Um, have you been interested in this game at all? Um, all right, let's see. I wonder where... I think we already went down here. Let's take a look again. Yeah, we've gone this way. I guess the main thing to figure out... So, we need... Oh, you can create a snap trap. Oh, so this is... Oh, I didn't know I could craft a snap trap. Um, so I need, what do I need for that? Craftable. Oh, wonderful. Okay, we can craft it. Ah! <laughs> Kelsia has subbed via a gifted sub from Ness. Thank you, Ness. Thank you, Kelsia. You all. You're so wonderful. It makes me so happy. Um, let's, uh, let's go back to the grimoire. Because I just realized something. We can make this snap trap and we can catch a bird and we can get our bird feather. And then all we have to worry about 
is the dog hair. So, um, let's craft this. Also, how cute is that little crafty noise? Like, <laughs> it just makes me giggle. Okay, so what do we have here? Let's go back. Okay, so now we have enough to make our snap trap. Beautiful. Okay, so now we can catch a bird. Isn't the crafty noise so adorable? I just love it. I adore it. It just makes me want to craft more things. Oop. I also really can appreciate how it will like light up items. Like if you're walking in a place like this and there's stuff behind there. Okay, so let's try to catch ourselves a bird so we can get our blue feather. Oh, 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 wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait a minute, wait a minute. I'm getting quiet as if it's gonna like help us catch the bird. Oh, oh, here we go, okay. Yep, snap trap. All right, that is the bird's weakness. So how do we set the trap? I don't know if it's actually gonna catch a bird. Oh, it's gonna catch the... Oh, oh, what? Oh my gosh, it got the... Oh my gosh, it got the squirrel. And we have the meat that we need. So that's how you get it. I was wondering. I was like, how am I gonna get this meat? to please this dog. Oh, you get the meaty morsel from the squirrel. Okay. So we need to make another snap trap then to uh, get our... That was a scary noise. It freaked me out too. I don't know if I jumped, but like in spirit, I definitely jumped. Okay, so we can craft another one of these. Oops, oops. Wait, can I? Hold on, let's go. Snap trap. Da, da, da. Okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, we can. Okay, beautiful. We did it. Squirrel meat. <laughs> squirrel meat, yes. We need squirrel meat for a dog. It's a whole thing. All right, let's try to catch this bird. Maybe if I'm very quiet. We can lay this trap out and we can catch this bird. I'm trying real hard to catch the bird. So let's, should we place it? Cause if I get too close to it, it's gonna move. Okay, let's go away. Oh my gosh. <gasps> it's so terrifying, but we got the feather. We did it! We got the feather! Okay. Okay. And we got more meat. Bird meat. Bird meat and squirrel meat. Ooh. Oh gosh, this is a lot. Okay. So now, now we might have, we're getting close to what we need to make the dog happy. So we have to make this sporific morsel and then we also have to make the potion but we need water and we need a bucket and i still don't know where we're getting that um but let's let's take a look here so we have the morsel we got a meaty morsel we got four of those so the only thing that we need right now is the water to make the potion jug of water from the forest well village square or fields how the heck do we find let's take a look in the grimoire oh maybe can we use an empty jar ah use the empty jar okay okay so we go back to the well see it's all coming together so we can select our empty jar while we're down in the well to collect the water we'll use the water to then uh, go ahead. Ooh, we can redig down here. I love it. And we already got our shiny stone. 
This is a really, I'm really into this. You all, I am, I'm really into this. Yes, this is how we do it. Okay, collect. We got a jug of water. We've got two jugs of water. Okay, I am so excited. I, we did it. I think we did it. So now we need to go, go make the dog happy so we can get the dog hair. I'm so excited. I'm sorry. I should not. I'm like losing it. <laughs> I love how it all just fits together and pieces together so nicely. Um, but I could see how it could be really easy to forget that when you use your witchy eyes on stuff, it automatically populates your grimoire for you. And so if you forget to look back there, like you'll be like me, like, oh, my gosh, how am I going to do this? Okay. So here we are. We need to, we got it. All right, we crafted our potion. Okay, and now we can craft our morsel. The crafty noise, like I'll never, I will never get over it. It's adorable. Okay, and so we can throw our morsel and then it looks like while the dog's eating it, we can cut the dog's hair. And this is how we're going to get the dog hair. That's all I get for now. So did I get it? Oh, there it is. I was like, where the heck's the dog hair? Okay. Frog slime, blue feather, shiny stone, and dog hair. That's all I need for those braziers. I should head back home now. Yay! I love the way that the dog just ate and was like, yep, I'm going to bed now. Good night. <laughs> okay. So, we can either use this to travel back home or we can go the long way. Which way do you want to go? Do we want to try this teleport thing and see how that works? Or do we want to just go through this portal? What do y'all think? We can go through our portals or try that. Um, that was really fun to pull together, though. Like, normally when you're crafting and, like, gathering materials, it can feel really... Like, if it's not done right, it can feel really cumbersome. And it's like, oh, I got to... I gotta find all these things, but this was actually really fun. This was really fun to find. Let's gather our twig. Is there anything else we can grab up on our way home? Maybe we should teleport just to try it out. I think we should. Oh my gosh. Time to go home. How cute. So you can either stay here or use the hearth seed. Oh, I love it. Okay, so it just takes you back there. That's fair. That's fair. So it's I thought it was going to take me like all the way back home. That's fine. I'm happy with it nonetheless. I love I love this crafting mechanic. It's so good. So very good. All right, we're back home. So now we need to take all of our materials back up here. We got our goatee. All right. Okay, we're gonna offer it our blue feather. A strong force pulls the feather down into the large basin like a, ma a magnet. It bursts into a bright flash of light as cold flames engulf its essence. All right. All right, let's give it the dog hair. The dog hairs take a moment to fall from your fingers, fluttering down into the basin one by one. The fur bristles into a foul smelling, <laughs> it bristles into foul smelling coils before erupting into a cold green flame. All right. Next offering is some frog slime. You gently squeeze the globs of wet slime 
from your satchel into the basin. The mucus bubbles and pops before cold flames reduce it to a fine, odorless ash. That was very disgustingly descriptive. Um, but I can forgive it because this just looks so cute. All right, last offering. So this one is the shiny stone. You drop the stone into the basin with a resounding chiming sound. Fractures trace across the pebble before it cracks open and a cold green light swallows it within, swallows it within its flames. The emerald flames of the braziers play strange shadows across the stone doorway. You watch as fingers of shadow crawl up the rock face and crack open the solid granite like stale bread. <laughs> the stone crumbles away into darkness, revealing a yawning stairway descending down into the cold earth. After you, madame. Oh my. Okay, we're going into the shrine. I love these little noises, like the little noise for when you go, like the crafting noise. We know that's adorable. When you're going through doorways, that's super adorable too. This is so good. I'm enjoying myself. Okay. It's real dark in here though. A little spooky spooky. Feels like there might be some ghoulies here. Okay. Oh. Okay. What do we have here? Sleeping maiden. I know. It's spooky time. I mean, it can't be all cozy without the witchy. We're bringing it out. Encased inside a gilded crystal coffin lies the body of a young woman. Though she sleeps in an enchanted slumber, her ageless features express a deep sadness. The sound of the cloven hooves echo against the marble floor as the goat comes to your side. Quite something, isn't she? Do you remember bringing her to me? I brought her to you? Why? Who is she? I haven't the faintest idea. All I know is you brought her lifeless form to my doorstep and begged me to save her soul. Her hair is late though. It is like 100% and her makeup is like, can't top it. You can't top that. And she's in a crystal coffin. Like, crystal? That's something. Save her from what? And why is she asleep? Why, from the 12 wicked souls whom you said wronged her in life, villains who deceived her and cheated her and broke her spirit. And as we agreed, here she will sleep until our contract is fulfilled, until you bring me those 12 wicked souls. Ah. What? I remember no such contract. Our pact is binding, regardless of what you do or do not remember. At the goat's words, you feel something hard and dark locked away in the depths of your heart. It speaks the truth. And just why should I do your bidding? Seems like a lot of bothersome trouble to me. Why do I care about some sleeping beauty? Bring me the 12 souls and I will release the sleeping maiden from her slumber. Our agreement will be fulfilled. Who knows, in time you may even remember why you brought her to me in the first place. Or you can simply return to the comfort of your little hovel where you will waste away until weeds grow so thick that not even your shears will be able to cut you free. Ooh, that sounds miserable. Yikes. And your mind will stay as empty as that grimoire of yours. Ooh. Yeesh. But it is a big decision to make so hastily. Why don't you sleep on it? I know this goat is like super shady. 
and called me like did what was what was it called called the witch grotesque in the very beginning like major shade shady goat a heavy weight fills your marrow your eyelids flutter barely able to stay open what have you done to me i i can't stay awake oh no what is going on okay we're back at home we are back at home in our chair what did that goat do to us what did that goat do to us all right i guess i gotta go outside see what's out there oh my goodness okay Good morning. I trust you've made up your mind. Will you collect the souls I've asked for? Or will you prefer to stay stuck in this festering swamp? Well, when you put it like that. All right, all right. No need to get your horns in a twist. I'll do as you ask. You haven't given me much of a choice. Yeah, kind of hasn't. Splendid. As it happens, I can already sense the first four souls we seek. I mean, but do you have to go outside? I mean, I know. You know, I think for the sake of the story, I have to go outside. But if it weren't for that story, we'd be at that cauldron with our little crafty noise, making all kinds of things. All right, so we have four souls. Two are in the forest, another in the swamp. Okay, so two in the forest, another in the swamp to the north, and the last in the fields to the south. Okay. Hopefully I can remember all that. Could you be more specific? Near a shapely stump, perhaps inside a tree with a face, by an overgrown mushroom grove. What do I look like, a compass? Go out there and look for yourself. This goat is so sassy and so shady. All right, new chapter, the sleeping maiden. Press this to view. All right, so we are gonna take a look at our journal all right so we completed first things first i love this track record i can look at every single thing that i did and that's pretty cool it makes me feel like like for somebody like me who really enjoys that checklist validation this is like this is playing right into uh this is playing right into my mo all right so what do we do so we have to collect four souls for the goat. The goat has made the cleared. Okay, so we got the bear in the forest, the ox in the fields, the leech in the swamp, and the snake in the forest. Okay. All right. And I also just love how very clear, like how clear it is. Like what's going on? What am I doing? What are these things again? What am I looking for? All right, let's go at least try and find a couple of these so we can see what, what that whole process looks like. We've gotten through the first chapter. Oh, wait a minute. Let's grab our shears and snip because you never know when you're going to need that. Is there any more down here that I forgot to cut? Okay. All right. So we'll go back into the darkness. All right. So these are, I figured that these would be the other portals. Also, I used my little teleporty thing. It doesn't look like I'm getting that back. So uh, at least we, we used it, I guess. All right, so let's go to the forest. I think we have a bear in the forest. Let's go try to find the bear. Let's see if we can find this bear. All right, back into this beautiful forest. Um, let's go ahead and do some chopping. Pick up all the things. All right, so let's take a look at our map again. Uh, looks like we have a pathway. You could be at the lake right now, just a little bit further. 
Okay, let's see. Is there anywhere else? Okay, we have another entry point here. Ah, can't bear the sweetness. A delayed shipment from the fields angers the bear even further. Okay, so we've got a couple of little access points here. Looks like the song of the snake. All right, let's go down here to the bear. Let's see what we got. Chat, how are you feeling about this so far? What are you thinking? If you were kind of on the fence about whether or not you wanted to grab this, are you feeling like you might be more inclined? What are you, what are you all thinking? I'm curious to hear your thoughts. I'm just like gushing over it. Like, oh my gosh, everything is great. So far, I haven't quite found a thing that I don't really like yet. Okay, what do we have here? Quartermaster. Oh, hello there. S sorry, I think I managed to get most of this d debris off the road. Looks like you've made a fine wreck. What on earth happened to your cart? Yes, well, you see, I was sent on a very important mission by order of my captain, the b bear. The bear, you say? What sort of mission? It's my job to make sure the Lakeshore camp is well stocked with provisions, but most importantly, a steady supply of honey for the bear's favorite mead. It was just on my way back from the apiary when a cart full of deer or something darted out of nowhere. Jostled my poor mule so bad that she broke her brittle and ran off. My own heart nearly leapt out of my rib cage. Piled the darn cart right into the ditch she did. Now every barrel is smashed and I can't bring myself to report back empty handed. The bear will have my guts for garters. I'm sure of it. The bear sounds like quite a brute. Oh, you don't know the ha you don't know half of it. If he doesn't get his honey, mead, his heads will roll. Maybe you could lend me a hand. I can't very well put this broken cart back together. No, no, nothing like that. But could you take a message to the sergeant of Lakeshore Camp? He's a reasonable fellow. Let him know what happened, and maybe he can get me out of this bind. You can get to the Lakeshore Camp if you follow the road to the northwest of here. I need to stay with the cart and, asset and assess the damage. Oh, dear. All right. So we're pressing our minus here to open the journal and review quest objectives. Okay, got it. Uh, my backlog is too much already. And it looks really cute. Plus, I'm enjoying the story so far. Big plus. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, my backlog is so much already, too. Like I was saying earlier, I am a serial, serial uh, wish lister. So, all right. So we're going to go ahead and go to the lake. Because that's actually where I thought I was going to go at first. But, um... I decided to go ahead and go down here because I thought we were going to find the bear first. Yeah, backlog is a whole situation. Like, uh, so another game I'm looking at right now is um, Life is Strange. I'm really, really thinking about getting that one, but I don't know if I want to get it for Switch or if I want to get it for PS5. But I am eyeballing... Um, I'm eyeballing it hard right now. Has anyone played that? It looks really good. Like, it looks very chill. Right up my alley. Oh, what's going on here? Hey, where do you think you're going? Yeah, no one but us soldiers are allowed inside the Lakeshore camp. Get out of my way. I have an urgent message, or I have an urge. I have urgent news for your quartermaster. I need to speak with your sergeant. Urgent? Only F. Only F. What? Yo, what's up with this guy? Oh, 
Is the line for the train or the captain has... Oh my gosh. Get out of my way, dude. I don't have time for you. What? What's up with you? That's right. Captain Bear is in for a foul... Is in right for a foul mood. You can't come in unless you're wanting a good thrashing. Okay. The guard almost has to shout over the dattering din coming from inside the camp. You heard him. It's dangerous in there. Wouldn't have the heart to let a frail old granny like you near that beast. One guard turns to the other with a conspiratorial shrug. Yeah, but who are we to say what's good for her health? Oh, yeah, you're right. We might be convinced to, uh, look the other way if we was, if we was fairly compensated, of course. Isn't that always the case? <laughs> they really should. They really should. Oh, gosh. Yeah, they or or they they ought to. They're about to. Yeah, it looks like they are. Right. Fairly compensated, of course. We'd be sticking our necks out after all. Yeah, I'm sure. Oh, gosh. How many gold coins do they want? They want three and I've only got four. Well, I guess I don't have a choice. I got to get through. You carefully press three heavy gold coins into the palm of the waiting guard. There. I expect you two can divide them evenly amongst yourselves. Right. One for you and two for me. What? You mean two for me and one for you? I'm the one who does all the real guarding around here. Oh my gosh. Get it together, please. You still owe me for that game of dice you lost. You cheated me. Give me them coins. The two guards fall <laughs> into fistcuffs and roll into the bushes, leaving the gate to the camp wide open. I wish they had dropped the coins. Oh my goodness. What is going on here? Witch eyes. Unconscious soldier. Unconscious soldier. Ash pile. And the bear. Oh my goodness. All right, what the heck is going on here? Ooh, we got some stuff for my aches and pains and some blood. Okay. Oh my gosh, do you all see this thing? So its weakness is unknown. Oh my goodness. Oh, so all this time I actually could have been digging up those little piles and I'm just realizing it. As you cautiously approach, the bear drains the last of his enormous tankard and smashes it against the head of a nearby soldier, knocking the hapless man to the ground. And then I walloped them just like that. So next time I catch any of you cowards turning tail, I'll skewer you like a fish and leave your guts for the gulls. Oh my goodness. Suddenly noticing that his drink has gone dry, the bear bellows to the skies. More, is it med or mead? Mead, I'm gonna go with mead. More mead, you yellow bellied worms, more drink. Bring me my delicious honey mead. The soldiers taking cover nearby exchange nervous glances at each other, none wanting to confront the bear. There is no more honey mead. The bear wipes a strand of drool. <laughs> oh my gosh, okay. Uh, the bear wipes a strand of drool from his sagging lips and his bleary eyes slowly focus on you. A mocking smirk splits his face as he waves at you with his great spiked mace. Oh gosh. Say, now that's a funny looking helmet, soldier. If I ever tell I ever tell you the time I crushed the bucket-headed barbarians of the Western Mountains, you decide that now is a good time to leave the bear to his ramblings rather than make yourself an unfortunate prop in his war stories. 
The bear kicks an empty tankard at you as you retreat back to the into the camp. That's right. Go get me more mead, you good for nothing slaggard. Oh my goodness. Campfire ember. Take cover. Let's do some. Oh gosh. This bear is a whole lot. There, you can't go in there. It's the bear's tent. Okay. Let's do some digging. What is that? I need my net. What? Is this it? Ah! Okay, there we go. It's a soot sprite. So that's what that is. The fer the forensic looking officer shouts hurried orders at whoever will listen. But most of the camp soldiers are busy cowering or knocked out cold. Man the gates. You over there. Secure the perimeter. We just need to hold out a little longer. Sir, we're running out of men. Where's the damn shipment of honey? You step over an unconscious footman to address the man in charge. I might be able to answer that question. Who the... Who let this old bat... Okay. You all are rude. Rude. Okay? Very rude. I found your quartermaster. He's having a bit of cart trouble on the road. I'm afraid your shipment isn't going to get here anytime soon. What? Oh, curse my rusty britches. Without that honey and other supplies, we can't make the honey mead. The bear's gonna flatten the whole camp when he finds out. Uh, the camp looks half flattened already. What's all this ruckus about? Well, the bear isn't the greatest... Well, the bear is the greatest warrior there ever was. Which is grand and all when we're fighting the enemy. But once we set up camp, he likes to use us poor sods as playthings to reenact his conquest. That's terrible. And the only thing the bear loves as much as fighting is drinking. Guzzles up so much honey mead, we have to brew it right here in the camp just to keep up. He points to a squat looking device tucked near some tents. A portable brewery. Without that shipment of ingredients, I don't see how we can ever calm the bear down. He'll smash us all into paste before the sun sets. Let me take a look at this brewery of yours. If the bear is so in love with brawling and boozing, that perhaps it's about time he received a dose of his own medicine. Oh, man. All right, let's go grab. So that's the brewery. But first, let me get things out of this chest. We got some grain. I feel like there was something else I missed. Nope, that's about it. This bear sounds awful. All right, so let's take a look at this brewery. You inspect the brass contraption. A tank here, a hopper there. The bitter smell of alcohol is infused into the well-worn metal. Despite the needlessly complicated dials and tubing, at the end of the day, the brewery is really just a fancy cauldron. This seems simple enough. I should be able to concoct just the potion for your troubles. The rattled sergeant shrugs his shoulders at you. Sure, if you think it'll help, but you'll need to fuel the darn thing first. Our supplies are a mess, so you'll have to figure it out on your own. You open up the brewery to inspect its complicated innards. Okay, so you need uh, five jugs of water. I got enough twigs and cinder blocks. All right, that's a lot of stuff. So we gotta, we gotta get those things. So let's see. So a cinder, cinder box can be crafted. Um... You need campfire ember. Okay. So I got two out of three. I need more fireflies. So I need one more firefly. And then I can have that. Um, let's see. What else does it need? We need jars of water. So um, let's see if we can knock this out really quickly. 
So we can go catch ourselves, use our net, and go catch a firefly. Fireflies are, I think they're over by that little lake area. Let's check it out. Okay. So, let's go. I think we're headed... Let's take a look at the map really quick. Yes, we are headed in the right direction. So I believe the fireflies were over here. Let's see if we can make this concoction really quick and see if it ends up being helpful. Yeah, look at that. Fireflies galore. Amazing. Ooh, we even got some fairy dust. Okay. Um, I think we got more than enough in terms of fireflies, though. Okay. All right, so we got that. Let's see, what else is it that we needed? Okay, so we can craft this. So we got that, and then we need um, five things of water. So let's go see if we can get some more jugs from up by, I think it was up where the dog was. Hopefully I don't have to make that concoction, like that weird meat again to get past the dog. Ah, and we can actually... Whoops. All right, let's go capture these thingies. If I can get to them. Beautiful. Okay. So let's check our map. We'll see if we can get this knocked out really quickly. And we'll go to the well and get some water. So I believe our dog guy was up here. Okay, are there, oh, the dog's, oh, the dog is barky, okay. Um, so we need more jars for the water and I'm not exactly sure. Whoop, dog tried to bite me, did y'all see that? Oh my gosh. Man, I wish I had, I wish I knew where I could find more containers for water. Please don't bite me. Please don't bite me. Ah, it bit me and it took one of my hearts away. Dang it. Okay. Can I talk to you? Nope. Oh, 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 oh. Maybe I can make a jar with the clay. Remember I got a bunch of clay? Let's take a look at the grimoire. Yeah, look at it. Okay, awesome. Beautiful. Okay, so we need five. So I think right now I have one. One, two. Okay, beautiful. We got enough. Oh, I love that you can just craft the empty jar. Amazing. All right, so now we're gonna go to the well, grab some water, and then let's let's do this. Okay. That guy just sounds so terrified sitting there. Poor guy. All right, so we are back in Lay Well. All right, you all. Let's accomplish this. All right. So I think we have all the things that we need. Or do we need two cinder blocks? I think we only needed one. Let's go take a look at the, um, once we get out of here, let's take a look at our quest log. Okay, so let, whoops, nope, that's not what I wanted to do. We want to take a look at this and we want to go to our journal. The bear. Yeah, we got it. Okay, let's go back, you all. Let's go back. And, oop, not that way. Let's go concoct this potion and try to save these people. And 
then we'll go from there. Hopefully then we'll be able to uh we'll be able to succeed. All right. Are they gone? Yep, okay. So we are back and we are ready. Let's check out the brewery. Straight there. All right, we got it. You slosh cool, clear water into the brewery's main tank. Not the best base for potion brewing, but you want to preserve that honey mead flavor. You open up the brewery to inspect its complicated innards. Okay. You snap kindling into pieces and scatter it into the bottom compartment of the brewery. Should be enough to fuel for the should be enough fuel for the job. All right. And now the cinder blocks. With the with the heat of cinder blocks, you set the stove chamber of the brewery alight. It'll bring the tank to a rolling boil. With a hiss of steam and the sound of boiling water, the rattling brewery is ready for the next step in the process. Of course, I'll need honey for the mead. That quartermaster said he was coming back from the apiary in the field, so I best try there. Then I'll need a proper magical binder and a token of the bear to seal the spell. Something in this camp ought to do the trick. Okay, so we have to have honey and then an elixir. All right, so there's more to it. There's more to it. We got the brewery going, but that is actually all the time I had allotted for today's little preview stream. So, um, that's all I got for today, you all. I'm really, uh, I'm probably gonna stick around and like play this, uh, when I get out. I was probably gonna go back and play Persona, but now I feel invested and I feel like I need to get through this. Um, so, how did everybody enjoy the preview? I hope you liked it. I think this game is super duper cute. Um, I'm glad I had the, the opportunity to play it and give it a try. The crafting is really, really simple. It's just fun. Everything about this game is just fun. Um, and so, yeah, I, I definitely am going to keep playing this for sure. And I'm happy I was able to snag a copy. So hopefully if your backlogs aren't too overfilled, um, you might think about grabbing this too. But yeah. Um, that's all I got for today, folks. Thank you all for coming out to check out this game with me. Maybe next Saturday we'll have something new to try. Um, otherwise, I will be back on Tuesday. Uh, and we will be playing Kana again. Um, Bridge, of, Bridge of Spirits. So um, I'll see you all then. Thank you so much for coming by. Bye, Amber. Bye, Momo. I hope you all have wonderful uh, Sundays and the re enjoy the rest of your Saturday night. Have a chill, chill weekend because, like, Monday will be here before we know it. <laughs> it will be here before we know it. Um, and no problem. I'm so glad I could, I could help show everybody um, and kind of give you some insight. So, alrighty, everybody. Have a good night. I'll see you next time. Bye.